this form we have our vertex right here we can tell this is the opposite so that's a positive one and then this is exactly what it is negative two so i'm going to go over one down two my axis of symmetry is then at positive one so x equals one and I know this is negative, so it's going to open down. And remember, it's 1 over, then it's 3, 5. So 1 over, 1 down. 1 over, 3 down. 1, 2, 3. 1 over, 5 down. Well, that's not going to work. So now I can reflect this. 2, reflect it here. 1, boom. And remember to make these as much as possible curved up here. Because it's a parabola, it's a quadratic graph, it is not a absolute value graph. That's vertex form. Now we have standard form. Remember in standard form we have to actually find the vertex first. So I'm going to use my x equals negative b over 2a. All right, And this is a, b, and c. So a negative of a negative 16 is a positive 16 over 2 times a is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, so that is 16 over 4 is 4. So I know my x coordinate is 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, I know that's going to be my axis of symmetry. Alright, now I'm going to plug 4 back in wherever I see x to get my y coordinate. All right, so that'll be our y. If you do this math here, you should get 32 minus 64 plus 28, which is negative four. So our Vertex is at 4, negative 4. And now I'm not going to go 1, 3, 5. Remember, 1, 3, 5 is not going to cut it. I'm going to, because I have a multiplier of 2 here, so it's going to be 2, 6, 10. Let's see how many I can do. 1 over up 2. 1 over up 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I'm not going to be able to do any more, so... I'm going to reflect it in the axis of symmetry and draw my U-shaped parabola right there. Oh, look who it is. It's uh, Mr. Kelly and Tom Brady. I, I didn't believe this one myself because Kelly is from Buffalo and Tom Brady plays for the New England Patriots. But this is actually Mr. Kelly's son. Now, okay. I did, you know, I put these pictures together, blah, blah, blah. But that's, that's his son, and, and they're, they're back home. They were actually friends from childhood, long-time childhood friends. Makes it really hard for Mr. Kelly to root, for, root against the Patriots uh, when they play the Bills, but he does anyway. All right, so then we have minimum and maximum values. Minimum and maximum values. So remember, this is a positive, so this is going to open up like this. So that means I'm going to have a minimum value, and my minimum value is going to occur at the vertex. So the vertex for this is negative 2, negative 2. So that minimum value, the lowest possible y, is negative 2. In vertex form, it's really nice, right? Over here, let's go to uh, a standard form. It's not as nice. Negative, so we know it's going to open down. Therefore, we know it's going to be a max. We should label this as minimum. All right, so this is going to be a max. I have to find the vertex, so negative b, negative, negative 8 is 8 over 2 times a. a is negative 2, so 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. So my x-coordinate is going to be negative 2. All right, plug that in, negative 2 times negative 2 squared minus 8 times negative 2 minus 4. Plug and chug all that out, and I get a y value of 4. So the vertex is at negative 4, 4. So this maximum point, that maximum y value is 4. So we have a maximum value at 4. 
So let's go over some factoring. Remember the first thing you need to look at, is there a greatest common factor, 4, 20, and 200? Yes, I can take a four out. So now it's gonna be a squared, 20 divided by four is five, a negative 200 divided by four is negative 50. Now I'm gonna factor what's left. I keep my four on the outside. Remember I'm going to unfoil this or uh, unmultiply double distribute. I know that I'm gonna always put my first thing in the first term. Then I need to do this, two numbers that multiply to negative 50, the last number, and two numbers that add to the middle, positive 5. So two numbers that multiply to negative 50 and add to 5, I believe that would be 10 and negative 5. I need to go back and look, is there any common factor in my new uh, binomials here? No, there's not. Therefore, we are done. Let's try this one, 10, 13, and 30. There's no common factors there. So I'm going to start by factoring. I need two numbers that multiply. Remember, it's a times c. So negative 300. I need to multiply to negative 300 and add to 13. All right, I'm gonna put a p in the front. In fact, I'm gonna put 10p in front. Remember, I'm gonna use the exact same term. So uh, two numbers that multiply to negative 300 and add to 13. Uh, positive 25 and negative 12. So now I'm going to look here. I can take a factor of 5 out of this 10 and uh, 25, right? So when I take that factor out, I have 2p plus 5. I can take a factor out of this one of 2. So I'm going to take that out, and that's 5p minus 6. If you take a look, 2 times 5 is 10p squared. 5 times negative 6 and negative 30, it works out. All right, last one. Ooh, remember that trick. This is a difference of squares. Difference of squares means I'm gonna take the, they are perfect squares. One's gonna be minus, one's gonna be plus. I take the square root. The square root of 49p squared is 7p. It goes in the front. The square root of 81 is nine. It goes in the back. So that was difference of squares. Remember, we also had perfect square trinomials. You may wanna take a look at that before the test. All right, here it is, Bean. Bean knows Michael, Sarah. In fact, they are actually cousins. They are actually cousins. I mean, if you look at them, they actually do kind of look alike. You could believe they're cousins, you know what I mean? But I wasn't too sure until I saw this picture here of Michael, Sarah in the Mr. Bean pose. Yep, there it is. Now you can definitely see it. Michael, Sarah of TV... Uh, Arrested Development, lots of movies, Super Bad, all that stuff, and Mr. Bean, long lost cousins. All right, very cool. So we now are going to do this sketch and solve. So first thing we have to do is solve. Whenever we have a squared term and a linear term, we need to get them on the same side. So I'm going to subtract 9x, 2x squared minus 9x, and I need to get the 5 the other side. So I'm going to subtract 5. Now I need to factor. All right, so I know it's gonna look like this. So I know I'm gonna put two X in the front of both term, uh, binomials to start. Two times negative five, I need two numbers that multiply to negative 10 and add to the middle, negative nine. Well, that's negative 10 and positive one. Is there anything I can uh, factor out here, two X and one? No, how about here? Yeah, I can take a two out. So now this is gonna be X minus five times two X plus one equals zero. We're going to have to use that zero product property. X minus five equals zero or two X plus one equals zero. Add five to both sides. X would be five. Subtract one. Two X equals negative one. Divide by two. X equals negative one half. So we have our two possible answers. So then we're going to sketch it. Quick sketch. One, two, three, four, five. So I know one of the x-intercepts is at five, and I know the other one's at a half. So it's going to look something like that. All right. Simplify. So we need to multiply. Negative uh, four is on the outside, so it doesn't multiply anything. 20 times six is 120. It goes on the inside. All right, now I need to find a perfect square. The only perfect square of 120 is 4. So 4 times 30, all right? Square root of 4 is 2, so negative 4 times 2, radical 30. 
Negative 4 times 2 is negative 8 radical 30. There are no perfect squares in radical 30, so it stays inside. Over here, I need to multiply by the conjugate. The conjugate of this is 2 plus radical 5. So 2 plus radical 5. And then I need to multiply. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times radical 5 is 3 radical 5. On the bottom, I need to distribute twice. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times radical 5 is 2 radical 5. Negative radical 5 times 2 is negative 2 radical 5. Negative radical 5 times radical 5 is negative uh, radical 25. We can do some simplifying. So we have 6 plus 3 radical 5 on top. That should be a radical 5. Sorry. On the bottom. So these cancel out. Uh, the square root of 25 is 5, so 4 minus 5 is negative 1. Now I'm going to go and divide 6 divided by negative 1 is negative 6, and then negative 3 radical 5. So 6, negative 6 minus 3 radical 5. Oh, and look who it is, Mr. Bruss. Now, uh, he sent me this family photo. I, I don't know who these people are. He said they're famous. Kar Kardashian or something like that. I, I don't know it, that they're famous. I asked him what they do or what they're famous for and, and he couldn't tell me. He just knows that they're his second cousins. And this was at a family reunion and he knew they were famous and I, I don't know, I looked it up on the internet. No one can tell me what these girls are famous for. So uh, I guess I'll have to believe it, but of course Bruss is gonna have the lamest celebrity uh, no all it of course of course Bruss way to go the the Kardash Kardashians or something like that I, I don't know anyway so that's Bruss's celebrity supposedly claim all right last one oh we're gonna solve this one and we're going to do it uh just by undoing remember we have gemdos so on this we have add 20 we have multiply by negative 2, and we have this grouping here. We have exponents, and we have grouping. So I need to do undo adding, so I'm going to subtract 20 from both sides. Negative 2 times x minus 4 squared equals negative 18. Divide both sides by negative 2. x minus 4 squared equals 9. Undo my exponent. Uh, the opposite of squaring is taking the square root. So x minus 4 equals positive or negative 3. Then I'm going to add 4 to both sides. So I have x equals 3 plus 4 or negative 3 plus 4. So it's 7 or 1. All right. There you have it. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, best of luck on the Unit 5 test, and I will see you on the flip side.